Hello, good day everyone. Welcome to my global channel, Mike Mathis. Today we are looking at a very important topic in a further mathematics vector. Vector. We are just going to try to introduce the topic today and get to a point in our next class we will continue. Now what is vector? From the knowledge we have in physics, vector is defined as a physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction. A good example of vector is velocity, acceleration, displacement, force, increase. Now recall that in physics, we said that there's a difference between velocity and speed because speed, speed does not capture the measure of direction, even though it has a magnitude. But velocity capture the measure of direction. That's why we said that velocity is a vector quantity and speed is a scalar quantity. A scalar quantity is a quantity that has magnitude but no direction. It has magnitude but no direction. So we are going to look at addition, addition, subtraction of vector. We are looking at addition and subtraction of vector. Now consider this uh, triangle here. A triangle A, B, C. Now if I'm to move from A to C, if I'm moving from A to C, either I can Either move directly from A to C or move from A to B and from B to A. So we have we have AC, the vector AC is equal to your A B plus B, C. This is B. So which means that our AC is the same thing as C plus A. The same thing as C plus A. Now what we have on the board is called the Triangle of vector. This is called. This is called. The triangle. Of vector. Law triangle of vector says that. A vector AC is the same thing as. AB plus what? AC. So you find out that BC. You find out that this B. They are together. If you eliminate the B, 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 then you'll be left with what? AC. That is also the law of what? Of uh, positioning vector. The law of positioning vector. So we said that AC is equal to AB plus BC. And this is the same thing as A plus C. So we said the vector A plus C is the resultant of what? Vector A and what I see. I want you to take note of that. I want you to take note of that. Now let's look at the negative vector. I want us to look at this to be able to help us to understand some of the calculations we are going to take. We said the negative vector 
of a vector A is written as minus A. And it's a vector that has the same magnitude as vector A, but moving in opposite direction. So a negative vector is denoted with minus because it's in the opposite direction. It's moving in the opposite direction. And from the definition, we can conclude that subtraction of vector is the same as the addition of vector. So we are going to consider, we are going to consider the triangle below. I will consider the triangle below. Triangle. Consider this triangle, that triangle. P X R O and P Q is the is the line that divides the triangle into two. P Q divides the triangle into the two. Here is B, here is minus B. There is B, here is minus B. Which means that these two vectors are equal, but they are in opposite direction. So I can say that, can say that your, we have from the diagram, from the diagram, we have. Our Q arrow, Q arrow is equals to minus Q S. What does it mean? It means that there are vectors that same magnitude, same magnitude, but opposite, opposite direction. Same magnitude but opposite direction. So we say this is these two vectors are equal, but they are in different what direction. They are equal but they are in different direction. Also, we have PQ minus Q R. PQ minus Q arrow. We can also represent it as what? You can represent it as the vector PQ plus minus Q arrow. Recall that. Recall we said that Q arrow is the same thing as minus arrow q. That is the law of positioning, positioning of vector. Q arrow is the same thing as what? Arrow q. Minus arrow q. Which means that your minus q arrow will be the same thing as your arrow q. I want to take note of that. So from there, we can also say that our PQ minus Q arrow is the same thing as what? PQ plus arrow Q. PQ plus arrow Q. Also remember that Q arrow Q is the same thing as what? Q S. Your Q arrow is the same thing as what? Q S. So we can say this is the same thing as PQ plus QS. And since these two, they are in same position, since we eliminate that, that will give us vector PS. From the diagram, from the diagram, if we consider the concept of some are difference. Some are difference from the diagram. So we can we can show the sum are difference of vector by just quickly saying you see that uh, you have your PQ is equals to A, your Q arrow is equals to B, and 
your QS is equals to minus B. So our P arrow, the vector P arrow is A plus B. While in the other side, your PS will be equals to A minus B. That shows the sum and difference of what of vector. Look at it. Here is A. Here is A. If I move it from here to here, it's going to give me A plus minus B, which is A. A minus B. The same way, if I move it from here to here, pass through here, have A, pass down here, have B. So the sum of this place is what? A plus uh, B. Now let's look at the parallelogram law. The parallelogram laws of vector addition states that the resultant of two vector is represented by the diagonal of the parallelogram, whose adjacent sides are the two vectors. Look at this. This is one of the vector. This is the second vector. So if we represent it in form of a parallelogram, then this will be the resultant. The resultant. P arrow is the resultant. P arrow is the resultant. So we can say that P can say we have we have PQ have PQ plus PS plus PS that would be equals to the PQ PQ plus Q arrow plus Q arrow that would be equals to remember this is QQ that will give you P arrow that will give you P arrow PQ plus Q arrow is equals to P arrow so that is the parallelogram law of a vector so which means that P arrow represents what the resultant of uh, the vector. Quickly write this down. Quickly write this down. Of vector. Consider this polygon. P, Q, R, O, S, T. In this first triangle, consider this triangle. We don't have a P, R, O, must be PQ plus Q R this plus this. The same way, we also have our P arrow plus arrow S. That will give us PS. We are also we are still using the knowledge we have from that triangle. This arrow, they are the same position. Then you have your PS plus ST is equals to PT. So in general, we say that P, that of P arrow plus Q arrow, you bring it, remove this Q, you have P arrow. Arrow S plus ST, remove this S, you have arrow T. And if I eliminate this two arrow, that would be equals to what? PT. But example one, Example one, if PQ arrow is a triangle, what is the sum of the vector represented by Q arrow solution? We have Q arrow plus P arrow plus PQ. Now, if I start from here, Q, you have a Q arrow plus P arrow plus PQ. So first of all, let me, let me, okay. 
So we have if PQRO is a triangle, what is the sum of the vector represented by QRO, ROP, and PQ? QRO plus ROP plus PQ. This will be equals to what is common here? ROP is common here. So that will be equals to QP plus PQ plus PQ. If I change this position, I will now have this is minus PQ because once P moves to this way, here become minus plus PQ. And that will be equals to zero. Now also, I can start from this other way. I can also say that also, I can say QRO plus ROP plus PQ if I take QRO, I will have QRO plus what is common here? P is common here plus ROQ. And once I change the position, your QRO minus QRO will be equals to zero. So anyway, whether you start from here or you start from here, you get the same answer. You get the same answer. Example 2. If the vector of PQ, P, Q, are represented by the side of a triangle PQ and PRO, of a triangle PQRO, and X is the midpoint of QRO, find the vector QRO, ROQ, and PS. Solution. Solution. Now, look at this. This is a triangle. This is P, Q, R, O, and this is P, S, the midpoint, which means this one is equal to this. That is what we mean by the midpoint. We are asked to find Q, R, O. What is Q, R, O? Q, R, O, that would be equal to Q, R, O will give us Q P plus P R Q P plus P R so that when I eliminate P I will have Q R and Q P Q P here is what P is P if I change this this will give me the same thing as what if I can represent, I must change it to PQ plus what? Plus PR. When you fit in the figure, make sure that these two are not in the same. They are not in this position. One come before the other. You take this position before you can fit in the figure. Don't forget that. Don't forget. So in order to get this, I have to change it to minus. So minus PQ is minus P plus then PRO will give me Q. PRO will give me Q. So my final answer there will be Q minus P. That will be the vector P Q. That will be the vector P. We have to find vector ROQ. ROQ is the same thing as minus Q R minus Q R O that will be equals to minus what do we have here? Minus Q minus P and if you solve that you have a minus Q minus times minus is P so that will become P minus Q P minus Q look at it the other way remember you say when you change the position we call it negative then theory we are asked to find the value of ps the vector ps ps is the same thing as pq plus p 
PR PQ plus PR So the vector PS is PQ plus QS So that when we eliminate Q, we have our PS So this is the same thing as PQ plus Remember QS is half of QR plus half QR. We have a value for QR. What is our PQ? Our PQ is equals to P. That would be P plus half QR is bracket Q minus P. That's QR. QR is Q minus P. So that will give us this will be equals to P plus half Q minus half P. P minus half P will give us what? Will give us half P. So our final answer will be half into bracket Q minus P. So look at it very well. We said that PS is PQ plus QS. And PQ, from the diagram we have here, your QS is half of QR. So that's how we put half of QR. And we have a value for QR to be Q minus P. If I expand this, I will have half Q minus half P. P, one minus half is what? Half. So that means here we are supposed to have, let me just quickly put it here, half Q plus half P. Here is plus. So we have the half Q plus 1 plus P as the final answer. Now we are looking at the component of vector. We have vector, vectors. We have uh, in two dimension and in three dimension. So I'm going to start with two dimension component of vector in two dimension. Now consider this: uh, what we have on the board. Let I and J be the vector. Be the vector. In the direction of the direction of OX and OY. Then we say that then our ON. Then O N will be X I and uh, we have our arrow N or N R arrow arrow N is uh, equals to Y G. So our O R vector O R will be equals to R O N O N plus R O N plus R O N. So this will be equals to S I plus Y G. S I plus Y G. So which means that arrow is equals to SI plus YG. Now, the modulus of arrow, the modulus of arrow is given as arrow which is equals to the square root of x squared 
plus y squared. So this gives the modulus of R. This gives the modulus of R. Let's consider let's consider two vector two vector R one is equals to S one I plus Y one J and R two is equals to S two I plus Y two J. We have the sum, the sum R1 plus R2 is the same thing as SI plus Y1G plus S2. I plus plus Y two G and this is the same thing as S one S one plus S two I plus Y one plus Y two G. In the same way, if we have R1 minus R2, we have to subtract these vectors. Subtraction. Then we are also going to have our S1 minus S2 I plus Y1 minus Y2 G. If the vector is in three dimension, three dimension, if the vector is in three dimension, that this arrow is equal to S. I plus YJ plus ZK plus ZK. The modulus of R will also be equal to the square root of R square plus Y plus Z square. This will be the modulus. This will be the modulus. Now, let me quickly explain direction cosine. Direction cosine. Now, given that, given that the modulus, the modulus of arrow is Arrow and is equals to the square root of s square plus y square plus z square. The direction cosine, the direction cos cosine is given as cos alpha, which is equals to x over the modulus of arrow, s over the modulus of arrow, and this can also be the same thing as x over the square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Then you have cos beta is equals to y, y over the modulus of arrow. 
which is the same thing as y over the square root of s squared plus y squared plus z squared. Then the last one will be cos gamma, cos, cos gamma, which is the same thing as z over the square root of r, and which is the same thing as z over the square root of s squared plus y squared plus z squared. Unit vector. Unit vector. Now let the unit vector of R be denoted as arc arrow. This will be equal to arrow over the modulus of arrow. This is arrow over the modulus of uh, arrow. So we are going to take some examples. I want to take some examples quickly. And uh, given that arrow 1 is equal to 3i plus 2g and arrow 2 is equal to 5i minus 6g. We are asked to find one the modulus, direction, cosine, and the unit of the vector R1, R2, R1 plus R2, R1 minus R2. Solution. Solution. One, we have what? R1. R1 is given to us as what? 3i plus 2g. The modulus, the first thing is the modulus. The modulus is what? Is equals to the square root of, this is your S3 square plus 2 square. Plus 2 square. So this will be the same thing as 9 plus 4. As the square root of 9 plus 4. So our answer is the square root of 13. Now, to find the direction cosine, now cos alpha, cos alpha, this is one, this is second thing we are asked to find, direction cosine, cos alpha, we say is x over the modulus of r. So cos alpha will be equals to x, there is 3, that will be equals to 3 over root 13. 3 over root 13. Then cos beta will be y over the modulus of arrow. y over modulus of arrow will be 2 over root 13. So look at it very well. First of all, we find the modulus. When you follow the formula, you have 3 squared plus 2 squared. That will be 9 plus 4, which is the square root of 13. Then to find the direction of cosine, you have cos alpha, which is x over arrow. And that is equal to 3 over 1, because your x here, the x position is 3, while the y position is 1, is 2. Unit vector. We say unit vector, that would be at arrow, and that would be equals to arrow over the modulus of arrow. So our arrow one, let me indicate it very well, because we have different value there. This would be equals to 3i plus 2j over the square root of what? 13. And this can be written as 1 over the square root of 13 
bracket three i plus two g three i plus two g then two we are asked to find the modulus of arrow two so two what's our arrow two arrow two is five i arrow two is five i minus six j the modulus of arrow two this is arrow is equals to the square root of five squared minus plus minus six squared and that is the same thing as the square root of 25 plus 36 and if you add that together that will give you 61 so uh, that will be the square root of 61 so which means that our directional cosine cos alpha is arrow is uh, Phi over root 61. Why? Because beta is minus 6 over root 61. Now the unit vector arrow 2 arc is what? Arrow 2 over 1, the modulus of arrow of arrow 2 that will be the same thing as 5i minus 6j over root 61 so this can be written as 1 over root 61 bracket 5i minus 6j 5i minus 6j we have a uh, arrow 1 plus arrow 2 this is arrow 1, this is arrow 2. So you add together. Remember, this will be the same thing as this will be equals to 3 plus 5 is 8i. Then 2j minus 6j will give you minus 4j. So the modulus, let this one, let the sum become arrow 3 let it be let this be equals to arrow 3 arrow 3 so the modulus of this arrow 1 plus arrow 2 is equals to modulus of arrow 3 and that will be equals to the square root of 8 square plus minus 4 square and if you simplify that, you will get the square root of uh, 64 plus 16. And that should be the square root of 80. So we have the square root of 80. Square root of 80. So if I have to find the, the direction cosine, Rational, the ratio of cosine cos alpha will be equal to arrow 3 which is this vector so over the modulus then I will say that will be 8i minus 4g 8i sorry the first one is 8 over over the modulus, which is root 80, y cos beta will be equal to minus 4 over root 80. The unit vector at arrow 3, remember we say arrow 1 plus arrow 2 is arrow 3 will be equals to arrow 3 over the modulus of arrow 3 and by that we have 
8i minus 4g over root 80 over root 80 so you can rewrite that as I write that as a 1 over root 80 bracket 8i minus 4g then lastly here I also ask to find i is 4 R1 minus R2 R1 minus R2 that would be the same thing as 3i plus 2j minus 5i minus 6j so if we solve that we have our 3i minus 5i will give you minus 2i then 2j minus minus this will give you plus 8j so we'll say the modulus the modulus of R1 minus R2 modulus of R1 minus R2 is the same thing as the square root of minus 2 square plus 8 square minus 2 square plus 8 square and that would be the same thing as the square root of uh, 68 that is equal to the square root of 68 this is 4 plus 64 by 68 that is 68 then the direction cosine cos alpha is equal to x that's minus 2 over the square root of 68 y cos beta is equal to 8 over the square root of 68 R1 minus R2 is equal to R4. Then the unit vector, unit vector at R4 will be equal to the modulus that is R4 over what the modulus of R4, which is the same thing as what? The vector is minus 2 plus 8j over here we have our R4 modulus of R4 is root 68. I like to write it as 1 over root 68 into bracket minus 2i plus 1 8j. So this is the model. Example, given the vector represented as R1 is equal to 2i minus 5j plus 7k and R2 is equal to 4i minus 3j plus 2k. We are asked to find the modulus, the direction cosine and the unit of the unit vector unit vector unit vector of R1 so let's start with that solution solution R1 is equals to R1 is equals to 2i minus 5j plus 7k so the the modulus of R1 is equal to the square root of 2 square plus minus 5 square plus 7 square. Same thing as this is equal to the square root of 4 plus 25 plus 49 
plus 49. And if you add that together, this will give you the square root of 78. So the modulus is the square root of 78. Then the directional cosine, the directional cosine, cosine is given as cos alpha. Cos alpha is x over the modulus. S here is what? Is 2. 2 over root 78. While cos beta, cos beta is given as minus 5 over root 78. Cos omega is given as 7 over root 78. Now, to determine the unit vector here, the unit vector, the unit vector, that is an arrow, arrow 1, is the same thing as what? Arrow 1. Arrow 1 is a it's 2 pi. Arrow 1 is equals to 2i minus 5g plus 7k over, over the modulus root 78. This is equals to 1 over root 78 bracket 2i minus 5g plus 7k. Arrow 2, arrow 2 is 4i minus 3j plus 2k. So, the modulus of arrow 2, arrow 2 modulus is uh, the square root of 4 square minus plus minus 3 square plus 2 square. That will be the square root of uh, 16 plus 9 plus 4, and that is the square root of 29. Square root of 29. Then the directional cosine, directional cosine, or directional cosine, directional cosine will be given as cos cos alpha which is 4 over root 29 cos beta cos beta is equals to minus 3 over root 29 and cos gamma will be equals to 2 over root 29. So this is the modulus and the ratio cosine. And to determine, you know, to determine the, the unit vector, the unit vector, the unit vector, vector, at R1, at arrow 2, please, will be equals to 4i minus 3j plus 2k. Everything is over. Everything is over. You have uh, the modulus is what? Root 29. This can also be written. You can also write it as 1 over root 29 into bracket 4i minus 3j plus 2k. And finally, finally, we are asked to find 1, 2, 3, we are asked to find R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2, R1 plus R2 is the same thing as 2i minus 5j 
plus 7k bracket plus arrow 2 is 4i minus 3j plus 2k. So, that's considered on the positions. Consider the position there. Then you have uh, this is the same thing as 2 plus 4, that would be 6i minus 5 minus 3 is minus 8j. 7 plus 2 is plus 9k. So that the modulus, the modulus of R1 plus R2 will be equal to the square root of x, which is 6, y, which is minus 8, and uh, z, which is uh, 9. And if you solve this further, you have the square root of 36 plus 64 plus 81. So if we add them together, that will give us 181. So that will be equals to the square root of 181. 181. The direction cosine, direction cosine will be cos alpha, which is s, our s here is 6 over root 181. Then you have cos beta, which is uh, minus 8, that is the position for y, over root 181. Then you have your cos gamma is equals to 9 over root 181. Then, to find the unit vector, let the unit vector vector of R1 plus R2 be equals to R3. So I will have my arc R3 arc R3 will be equals to R3, which is 6 minus 8j plus 9k over, yes, over the modulus, which is root 181. And if you go further, you can see 1 over root 181 bracket 6i minus 8g plus 9k. So thank you very much. We have come to the end of the first part of Vector. We still have another two parts to deal with. Very soon, we will get the videos for part two and part three. God bless you.